Hello and welcome. There's a lot of information to bring to you today. And firstly, so I want to speak about these things that are happening with our son and and also a, what kind of, I guess, prompted me to come on right now is that I had this flash of... Um, this vision, this vision, and got this message that, and I don't have any um, physical proof or evidence of this, but it really moved me, that a lot of our children are coming to the surface today or are being released into um, loving arms. And so many of you will be aware that we have been in a situation where a lot of our children have been held and in abusive situations and some of them held underground and that their release has needed to have a lot of um, process, a lot of healing. And so I just invite you to join me in holding each of them and all of them in our hearts and in our prayers, these beautiful children who we can now help them to come into uh, their own return to their innocence and to being loved and held, those precious, precious children. Uh, yeah, so it's an 11 day today. I want to speak to you about the sun. I'm trying to um, manage a whole lot of different things here. Um, so I also want to speak to you uh, uh, about the notes that came through this morning. Um, more shaking and shuddering going on in the inner earth today. And the movement the movement kind of reminded me of an of of someone getting going with an old car engine you know it just needs some tuning and some readjustment it's a little erratic it was that kind of <laughs> kind of kind of movement shaking um i do get shown pretty funny and interesting metaphors visual metaphors and gaia was checking various things Sorry, she said earthquakes. Yes, <clears throat> everyone will begin to experience these as rumbles, not as disasters. The planet is removing further energetic density and debris, just as each of you are in your bodies, Gaia said, releasing density to receive greater light and higher frequencies. And she said, we are coordinating many things at the moment. A planetary spin, axis, adjustments of tectonic plates, pressure, values and release points, fine tuning for our movement through uh, the photonic belt and, and, and where we will experience this increase in intensity of photons. Um, oh, just, for, just forgive me, I just need to take a, a moment here. It really uh, did um, move me, that attunement to our children. Um, so, yeah, just join me in taking a couple of breaths and sending love from our hearts out across the planet, peace, ease, love, thank you. So also um, I want to tell you that we are not having a pole flip, so there are people who are saying that but that is not what Gaia says, we are having and have had some pole 
adjustments on the axis. That's what we are having. We're having another, um, that will be another minor adjustment. And I'm showing it's a north-northeast adjustment. And we've had several of these already. This will be a slightly bigger one, but it'll still only be uh, a couple of degrees. Um, be aware that there is so much magnification of energy occurring at this time that it behoves all of us to attend to our negative thoughts, words and feelings and actions as quickly as possible. They are so quick that you'll manifest a turnaround. So you turn it around before it has a chance for that. And so transmute any of those thoughts, words or actions or speech. Uh, rewrite them, realign them to a positive forward movement. And this will assist you in your own empowerment and propulsion through this energetic stream. Um, yeah, there's been, maybe some of you have been having this experience of feeling that when you wake up in the morning, you are taking quite a long time to come into your body. And when I asked about that, um, there's this kind of, um, you, you may be feeling as though you're quite discombobulated. I've had a couple of mornings like that where it's taken me quite a long time to come back into my body. And when I asked about that, I, I, I got shown that many of us are receiving new instructions, that many of us are having off-planet meetings. It seems to be that we're creating new sacred geometries or new uh, forming new groups that have a sacred geometric structure yeah. to them and that we're receiving new instructions for this new time. Um, I want to talk about the sun as well and what that's doing. Um, and let me actually, I've got, I think I put it in here. Hold on a moment. So, you know, the sun's releasing these solar flares. Um, and we've been having... Schumann reading blackouts and these are all indications to me of this ongoing frequency increases and that's in total alignment with what Guy is speaking of regarding the flash and flares we're having this ongoing increase um the Schumann resonances if you don't know they are they they are these electromagnetic resonances around the planet and it's the measurement of those it's the measurement of the lightning discharges in that wave and that cavity um, of waves between the surface and in the ionosphere. So this is us. We're building our body's capacity to hold light and higher frequencies and readiness for ascension. And so this Schumann resonance, it's our scientific measuring device for this. So a lot of us, we're kind of doing a lot of multidimensional things and a lot of People are experiencing energetic exhaustion. So you feel as though you ought to have been um, exerting yourself in a whole lot of ways and yet you haven't, but your body is feeling like that. And um, that's because we're doing so much of this combustion in our bodies, our cells changing, and it takes a lot of energy. We're we're preparing out this physical body from this third dimensional form into a fifth dimensional form, preparing our bodies for something that's never been done in the history of the multiverse. And we are, in, in past experiences and existences, we have ascended, but we have never ascended by taking our physical form with us. We're changing from carbon to silica crystalline. Our density is being transformed, we're releasing, we're clearing, we're clearing old patterns, beliefs, soul memory, family lines, matriarchal, patriarchal, masculine, feminine, the social conditioning, 
our educational inculcations, our past life experiences, these are all being alchemized in our body and, and out of our body as we shift paradigms through this increase in vibration and resonance in our human body on the planet and in all other sentient beings. Um, so it's all of us. So our biggest priority, your biggest priority, is to build and maintain your vibration to the highest level possible. And you do that by focusing on what is good. You focus on the positive. It's You attend to what comes up. It's not that you ignore that. So our bodies are going through change. Emotional things may come up, emotional feelings, sensations, memories, experiences, they may rise up. And so you, you look at those in a detached fashion. You observe and you note what it is and you ask what needs to be done, what needs to be um, accessed, what needs to be held in conversation with the body and do that and release it, breathe into it, breathe through it, allow it to release, follow it out with the breath, be in gentleness with it. Just view it as the simple energy exchange. I am releasing this energy that I do not need, this lower density energy. Thank you. Releasing it out of the body to create space for these higher lights and codes, these higher keys coming in, they are streaming in, the, the sun, they're streaming from our solar sun, these flares, these flashes, that is what they are doing, they're bringing in these higher lights that are um, enabling our body to be transmuted, transduced, transcended, a lot of the trans things, um, and so this is happening in the micro and the macro, it's happening in the inner and the outer, with us and the earth, our human body and the planetary body, this really special expansion and acceleration. You might be releasing it through sneezing, coughing, sweating, heating up, sleeping deeply, not sleeping at all. Um, remember that energy becomes form and the energy can change before we see it in our physical world. So we are moving into power, for the people, we are moving into returning to our ancient higher wisdom and knowing. Uh, we are experiencing brain changes and releasing. So we're releasing, sort of in a way, we are releasing aspects of our of our brain that do not serve us any longer. It's been shown to me almost like brain surgery, um, as though big chunks of our brain have been removed. And, and so what is happening is that it's quite, uh, I guess it's quite complex to explain, but how it shows up in a simple form is that our brains are being reconfigured to house higher dimensional, higher spiritual aspects of operating. So we are releasing these parts of our brain that we use purely for memory in a way we're coming into cellular memory we will know things through this sort of um, clear sentience the cellular cognition and our brains are being reset we're having new neural pathways built to hold higher um, principles and information so higher levels of information we're going through that uh, another thing that you may be finding is this inability to track time because the time matrix, this aspect of time in our physical world, the construct of our clock, that was um, disabled and released, dissolved in the energetic field, um, I think in February, but now it's coming in so you know everything happens in the energetic world before it comes into form and now it's here in our physical world so we're having strange experiences with time maybe crossovers of things maybe loops a lack of being able to connect into what the actual time is whether you did something 
today or yesterday. And so that is pretty challenging. I don't know the answer to that at the moment, except to be just accepting it. It's, you're not going crazy. You're not going mad. You're not losing the plot and just be with what is. So really, you know, this is our mastery this month. We're in this mastery of coming into greater connection with our beautiful divine Christed light, our divine flame. We're coming into a greater alignment with who we are. We are being shown more clearly because the veils are leaving and lifting and they'll do that very strongly through this new moon, uh, uh, sorry, this full, full moon. And in this ascension um, wave that we're going to experience, um, also our focus is to be with what is. So you do that by coming into present moment with the breath, be with what is, that um, is another very strong process to be with. Um, hydrate and be grounded and just know that we are going through the most incredible time. Ever. It's very exciting and very challenging. So we're going through this time of attending to any final wounding and then releasing. And coming into present moment, ease in the body, opening of the heart, this greater connection to our own divinity and choosing to let go so release surrender come into love abundance joy connection unity freedom happiness in deep deep connection to self so I invite you to repeat as the mighty I am, I call in all aspects of self back through time, space and dimensions to be, to be present, to be in this now moment as we move into unity, consciousness, peace, ease, harmony and higher love all right what else do i want to be telling you yeah so uh, we are having information come in that's going to be and is very challenging to our existing beliefs and this overwhelm can create cognitive dissonance and i invite you just to hold it in either suspended belief or suspended disbelief be okay with well that may be so or that may not be so that may be true that may not be true be open be soft be curious with it know that as we are moving through this time that we are going to get greater clarity on what is true and what is not um and so we just go with it. We just be present with it. We are looking at the changes. We see the challenges. We'll notice these extreme polarities of energy at the moment. Where one day you might have lots of energy to be focused and, you know, moving along, doing your little jobs. And then the next day an exhaustion. So this is all part of our up-leveling. We're learning to come more home to ourself and our hearts they're opening wider and wider so we're feeling more we might be moved to tears like I was earlier um, and also you could be you know releasing a lot a lot of old stuff that's part of our process at the moment 
And so we don't have to be wallowing around in it. We just check in with it and um, we allow it to go and we shift into happiness. Look to nature. <laughs> That's always a, a great um, catharsis is to tune into nature. Um, right, is there anything else I wanted to say to you? Well, we're moving into this um, pink full moon. It's a Libra and full moon. So this is going to bring us this idea of coming into greater balance with self. Um, I wrote some notes about the moon. Let me just find them. Oh, yeah, so it's going to show up. Um, really is a full moon for a few days apparently and what I got from it was that you know we might see this as this quite strong fiery propulsion into balance because there's this other thing that's going on that's called and I, I uh, these are notes I got from the net because we're, there's something called a Kazemi effect. So this is when a planet is so close to the sun that it essentially infuses itself with the energy, which in turn enhances the energies coming through. So this is going to relate very strongly to Mercury, which is all to do with our communication and how we express ourselves so this is uh, going to bring us information and energies where we can uplift our level of communication and go to higher expression so you know we're leaving some of this sort of tittle tattle boring everyday stuff that humans talk about and we'll be going to this deeper higher communication that holds more um, connection and passion um, and also because of that, that's this powerful time for creation. And it's a very powerful time for your spell casting. You're casting with words what you speak out loud. So be exceptionally mindful of that. Um, and also this moon apparently brings us this ability to make proper adjustments where adjustments are needed. So that's sort of imperfection with um, all the things that Guy has been saying. We're coming into this greater alignment with self, getting to know ourselves at a deeper level. Who are we? What do we need? And what do we need to release at this time? Um, you may be experiencing all sorts of things in your body. It may be to do with your vision, with your pituitary and pineal glands. They are having... Um, expansion and activation through the solar flares. You may be having ringing in your ears as your clear audience is perhaps developing. Um, yep, we're having lots of things happen in the brain and right through the body, really. So you might be feeling um, very strong activations in your solar plexus as uh, that's our power centre and that's where we're coming into our own empowerment learning more about that um yeah i wrote we're breaking out rising up awakening exiting the controlling mechanism the falsehoods and lies we are looking to build to the tipping point of the mass collective consciousness awakening from duality into unity what will you hold as your reality? We are powerful beings. So hold what it is that you want. Hold what it is that you desire. And hold what you wish for self and for our world as we are building and co-creation our new fifth dimensional world as we're getting ready for tipping into that dimensional space so uh yeah i wish you so much love and send you so much heart love from my heart and from the heart of gaia and we'll speak again soon
Oh, Terry T, I see. Is there a freebie list? I don't understand what that means. Um, let me let me know. Thank you, those of you who are here. I've been trying to manage notes on a couple of uh, streams. All right. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone. Catch you soon.